Researchers at Apple recently released a paper saying that the currently artificially intelligent reasoning models can't reason. This paper was celebrated by some and criticized by others and discussed so much that no one noticed another paper which appeared at almost the same time saying that these models think in some sense very much like humans. The logical conclusion, it seems to me, is that humans can't reason which really explains a lot, doesn't it? More seriously, are we maybe expecting too much of AI? Should we just settle on them being as stupid as we are? Today I'll have a look at those papers and then I'll try to reason about them. Let me start with a paper you probably haven't heard of. The authors looked at how large language models and their visual counterparts classify images. They give both humans and the AI sets of three images and ask them to identify one as the odd one out. By doing this repeatedly, the authors can construct a measure for similarity of images. They find that the more models develop human-like conceptual representations of objects. Even more amazing, they also compared the activity patterns in the model network with those in the human brain and found a strong alignment between model embeddings and neural activity patterns in brain regions. This provides compelling evidence that the object representations in large language models, although not identical to human ones share fundamental similarities that reflect key aspects of human conceptual knowledge. So this paper says that the current AIs indeed learn to think like humans, at least in some sense. Let's then talk about the headline-making paper from Apple. They looked at what goes on in large reasoning models as problems become more complex. A large reasoning model is a large language model with a chain of thought. This means that the model has extra instructions and extra training to break down any prompt into smaller steps, work them off separately, analyze and then recombine the results of these steps. Reasoning models aren't so much new models as beefed up versions of the original large language models. Chains of thoughts can indeed much improve the accuracy of responses, but does this mean that the models actually do something conceptually new? The authors of the paper looked at just how these models handle certain types of thinking puzzles whose complexity can be gradually increased. They use these puzzles because they all have deterministic algorithmic solutions and the models have access to these algorithms. What they mean by reasoning in the paper is that the models know when and how to use the algorithm to solve the puzzle. But what they found was that, quote, frontier large reasoning models face a complete accuracy collapse beyond certain complexities. Just a week later or so, however, a follow-up paper argued that the supposed collapse has nothing to do with the model's ability itself, but rather with the number of tokens it can output, so basically the length of text, and they did some preliminary tests which support their argument. Despite the problems with the Apple paper, a lot of people took this as proof that the current models can't think anything like humans. What are we to make of this? For one thing, I'd say that the ability to use and execute an algorithm or to classify images are poor definitions of either reasoning or thinking in general. I mean, if you randomly picked people on the street, how many of them do you think would know how to run the algorithm and interpret the result? Does this mean that they can't reason? That said, I don't see a big problem with interpreting these results. The current AIs think in some sense and they reason a little bit, just not very much, and importantly, not in a way that's generalizable. 
This, I think, is the major issue here. A lot of people thought, or maybe still think, that these models would just acquire the reasoning capabilities of humans. But this isn't what's happening. Rather, we see that with more effort, more training and more money, the models can gradually handle more tasks, but they don't develop what we think of as the hallmarks of intelligence, deductive and inductive analysis, abstract thinking, building of correct theories or models, quick learning. That a computer program can execute an algorithm is nice, it's even useful, but what's new? This isn't to say that artificial intelligence can't reach human level intelligence, it's just that these models aren't the right approach. And it'll be very interesting to see at which point the companies that have invested heavily into them will admit that. The Apple paper might not tell us much about AI's reasoning capability, but the idea that AGI is imminent could indeed be called a complete accuracy collapse. Artificial intelligence is everywhere and it's learning to code. It isn't hard to predict that this is going to become a major safety problem for internet browsing soon. Or maybe it already has, it's just that we haven't heard of it. That's why I use NordVPN. NordVPN is an app that makes your internet connection ultra secure. You install it on your phone or laptop and use it to create a safe connection. With NordVPN, no one can spy on your data or track your whereabouts. And it also comes with a threat protection that keeps you safe from malware, trackers and malicious ads. It doesn't just protect your privacy, it also makes your life easier. You know how some content is blocked for users in certain locations? For example, for example, if you're in Europe, a lot of pages in the United States have become inaccessible in recent years. That can get really annoying. But well, NordVPN has more than 5,000 servers all over the world. Just pick a server in the United States. Problem solved. You can make use of our special offer if you use the link nordvpn.com/sabine or the coupon code Sabine. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.